just got the first proof over here. This is what we decided to go with. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. It's a black shirt and we're doing black ink. He actually sent me the proof. It's got more of a dark gray, just so you can see it stand out, but it's gonna be a less obnoxious shirt. I like the LHT and the LHT performance underneath and we've sold a bunch, but this is more of a subtle, this is, I am an S2000 fan and oh yeah, I yeah, support LHT performance. I think you guys will probably appreciate that a little bit more. Next video, a little bit different. If you watch some of our early videos, they got much more views, but there wasn't as detailed, I don't think. I used to just put swoopy shots of music and then the car on the dyno at the end and maybe going down the road and titles. And it seems like they did so much better, even though I looked at those videos, I didn't think they were very informative. They were just eye-catching. So I'm gonna do a video on this car in that style. So let me know what you like. I'll probably do a vlog style video, a how-to video, and a artistic car being built type video. Do those three types and just alternate them. Update on the red S2000, this is our 2008. There isn't really an update because we have supplier issues. We can't get all the parts we need. So there's no turbo kit on this. It's just kind of the way you saw it when we left or when we came back from the Dragon. So there is another car that I've been I've had on I've had for a while. It's been kind of tucked away. Uh, I did have plans for it. Now I decided to sell it. I'll put some pictures in here. It's a 2005 S2000. Almost looks the twin to this. It's white with tan. Beautiful car. Just did a bunch of maintenance to it. Just put a OEM lip on there. Brand new tires. Brand new OEM clutch. Brand new soft top, brand new radiator, new finished brakes. The brakes are perfect. All the fluids are good. All the things that usually go bad, we've done. 120,000 miles. It's as nice as the red one. I'll try and get some more info on it. I've just put some pictures of for the time being, but really, really clean. PM me on Instagram. I don't want to do a full video on this because my phone blew up the last time. The last time we did the Silver Dancer, my phone would not stop ringing for weeks afterwards. So I'm careful how I'm kind of advertising these cars. But I did have plans to have a turbo car and a supercharged car, but things have kind of changed. The cars have kind of come into my life that I didn't actually expect. Uh, the Burt Hatch, I don't really want to sell it. So if I don't have to sell it, it's kind of like, you know, I'd rather get rid of, uh, it's basically the twin to this, get rid of the white one, keep the Burt Hatch. And this year we're going to build the white CRX. I plan to strip that down, uh, repaint it, make it absolutely mint, go through the motor, refresh the motor, convert it to OBD1, put all new intercooler pipe in, basically bring it up to a mint level of the way it sits because I don't want to change it. I decided not to do a B16. The ZC is kind of period correct and there's so much history and memories with that because we put the motor in for Steve. So Steve CRX is going to be refreshed. Fuel pump runs. This is the owner of the Integra Type R I was telling you about. No one's going to believe you're 86. <laughs> My memory. <laughs> How old is your wife? 84. And his wife drives the car too. Uh, you hear about... Hopefully you watched that video. I called it 86 year olds Integra Type R. He brought the car to us eight, 10 years ago. Long story, he ran it out of oil, fried the bottom end. At the time, it was fairly reasonable to buy a B18C5 bottom end right from Acura. It was cheaper to buy that than buy a whole swapper, a long block. We put that in, new clutch, water pump, timing bell, refreshed the head, put all new valve seals in. So the motor is good. Recently towed the car to us, it quit running. Long story, it fried the igniter, it parts in the, in the distributor are very expensive. So after reading some of the comments, there were so many people that said, hey, you should do a GoFundMe, or somebody, one person said, hey, you should do a GoFundMe. Somebody said, hey, you should bring the car back and do a cleanup. And he's had me thinking, I think the video's only been out for 24 hours. And I wanna do something for this guy, but I don't have the money to just build the whole thing. Well. We're a YouTube channel that doesn't make a lot. and We have three employees, so there's three of us. That's it. We're not a huge company. But I do this because I'm, I'm passionate about it. If you watch our videos, if you get our personality, if you get my personality, my character, you understand what I'm about. 
I do this because I love it. I have a lot of passion for this. And this guy is 86, his wife is 84, and they drive an Integra Type R, as well as that ginormous van that had about 36 seats in it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's like, I want to do something for him. I'm willing to donate the time and the labor. I will, LHT will pay for it. It'll pay for me and George to work on the car. If you are a company and you want to sponsor it, we'll put your name everywhere we can. We'll do everything we can to, to basically uh, give you as much exposure as we can. And if you want to donate some money to put into this car, I'm not talking thousands and thousands of dollars. We're not going to do a full restoration, but it needs a good cleanup. The Burt Hatch episode we did, uh, I showed you how to fully recondition the seats. Maybe I can bring Sean in, do a full uh, outside detail, fix some of the things, flush it, put brakes in it, make it so it's a good solid car and peace of mind that he can drive. I mean, the fact that he's 86 and he's still driving an Integra Type R shows that he has passion, but he likes that car. And we'll bring him back on and do an interview with him, post the questions of what you would want us to ask him, and we'll ask him, and we'll get some feedback, and I say we'll, we'll give you as much support as we can. We'll put your name all over the place. You can support the video. You can sponsor it. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Comment below. Give me some ideas what you think we should do. Uh, for the people that want to get his name and address so they can go buy the car, to be honest, I'm going to completely ignore you because I don't like it. I don't like someone trying to take advantage of him. I mentioned it in the video. I won't let it happen. But I would like to donate and make this car fantastic and make this guy just love it. I mean, he loves it already, but wouldn't that be a fantastic idea for a video? We'll do the whole thing and get his perspective uh, at the end. Maybe go for a drive with him. Maybe make a full video about it. Let me know. This is on the braces. We have probably 20 left. So the rear brake light flashers just came back in the, uh, in the store. Uh, these have been hard to get. I went with the original people that I did. Uh, we'll send this to you. It comes with the crimp connectors, and they're the good crimp, not the ones that when you crimp them, they break. These are the good ones. So we have these in the store. Check those out. Rear brake light flasher. That's for the guy behind you that might not be really paying attention, and you're trying to grab his attention that you're stopping so he doesn't rear-end you. Uh, LHT battery ties. We just have more of those put in the store. The billet S-tube, we have one left right now. They've all sold out. I did put an order in for another five. The grip tech pulleys, I've got to call them again. I don't know if there's a problem with production, but I ordered 20 sets and I'm still waiting for them. I have a handful of people waiting. As soon as I get those in, I'll make a movie dedicated to those, dedicated to this, dedicated to the throttle body, basically the whole package. Uh, Master Shift kits still have parts on back order. We have the rings. But the foam is on back order, of course, the boot also. Uh, plenty of S2000 Bando belts, we have those in stock ready to purchase. That way, if you're going to buy the pulley bearings, you can buy the belt too. It's all going to come in one box. You'll have everything you need. Plenty of LHT VTEC solenoid covers right here. Again, they're part of the trio. Got plenty of those in stock. They are plentiful. Uh, the bearings just got more bearings in. I did the video for that to show you how to replace the bearing on your pulley. Make life a little bit easier for you. Um, draft shaft bolts right here. Uh, we still got a few left. I order these. I have to order a, a, box, a box of uh, 200. Um, we have plenty of those. Order those if you're going to do a clutch. I don't know if I showed you these. I just put these together. These are the stoppers for your S2000 and other Hondas too. If you come to your car and you turn the key or hit the button, it doesn't start, it's completely dead. It could be one of these stoppers is broke, or if your cruise doesn't work, or if your brake lights are stuck on, it's more than likely one of these. I did put a bunch of kits together, and randomly I put an LHT key ring in some of those bags. So if you order one of these, uh, we're just gonna randomly grab it. You might get an LHT key ring. That isn't something we sell. In the bit of woodwork after hours. So this is our main bench. Paul and I built this bench probably 15 years uh, ago. Paul, if you're watching, you remember after this, I think you went to the hospital. <laughs> I'm sure that was not a good memory. Basically took the boards off, flipped them over the backside of these. 
are heavily beat up. They're being drilled on, cut on, engines are being bounced on it. So flipped it over, give it a quick send, filled a couple of these knots. I'm gonna send it one more time, put a coat of varnish on it, let it dry for eight hours, put another coat, uh, repaint the blue over here, make it look nice, put the vise back on, we're back in business. Chuck is starting to come loose on this. Every time you use it, it backs off and the drill bit falls out. But other than that, it's been terrific. I'm debating whether to see if I'm going line and order a chuck because everything else is perfect on it. We've got the interchangeable batteries. It is a fuel drill. Our old one was not fueled and it is a hammer. So I'll let you know, give you an update. If that is replaceable, I'll let you know and we'll do it, show you how to do it.